So, just another quick video about a new feature that's been added to the latest version of Virtual DJ, which is built 6921 at the time of this recording. And the new feature is the In Playlists column in the browser info panel. So what's that all about? Well, if you didn't know, the browser section down here has an info panel all the way to the right. And in a lot of situations, that's probably uh, set to auto-minimize, so you don't really look at it much if you don't need it. Uh, but you can click it, and then you get this uh, info pane. And it falls along to whatever you're clicking over here. So you simply get more information about the track. You can color it. You can, you can uh, set its stars. You can do some uh, some stuff about the comments and you and hashtags and stuff, and uh, and that's all uh, good and fine and nice functionality. But now there's a new feature, and that's the in playlist column. Looking at it down here, you can see there's no in playlist column, and that's because you can actually choose what to see down here. So click the little dot up here to get the drop down, and then you get the sub drop down here, which are fields, and then you add the in playlist. And that gives you a little new one down here. And then the same thing happens if you click through these. You can see that the playlist, the in playlist change. So that basically shows which playlist this track is included in. So of course you can see these are just dates. So that means that uh, they're probably from the, from the history. That's probably the auto generated playlist based on what I played uh, on that specific day. Um, but then you can see, so that's that's a playlist from up here uh, in the list and advices. But you can also see if I click further down, we get another playlist called 80s. And that's actually not a playlist. That's actually a virtual folder, which is kind of, kind of the same thing as a playlist, but with a bit more functionality, a bit more modern, if you will. So as you can see over here, that's actually this virtual folder down here. So of course, if I click that and go through the tracks, they will all list at as 80s. Uh, in the in playlists down here, because of course they're all in that playlist because I'm currently in that playlist. So that's basically the feature. So it covers both the kind of old school and uh, 3 based playlists and the more modern uh, virtual digital only uh, virtual folders. But that's more because of course the next uh, thing you're gonna tell me is, well, can a track be in more than one playlist? And yes, it can. So if I load Troom here, you can actually click this. And then you, you get uh, information about when this track was last played, but you also got a search in history and playlists. That's actually an old feature that you have been able to add before, like maybe on a custom button, but now you get access to it directly here from the info panel. So if I click that, I get this little pop-up where you can see all the playlists and virtual folders where this is included. And you can actually click those to go directly to them. So this is a history playlist. So if I double click that, it opens my history up here and it goes down to that exact playlist that I, that I double click. So now you can see it's down here. The same goes for the virtual folders. So if I close this down again and I pick uh, the virtual folder down here, the 80s one, double click it. You can see it jumps down to the 80s virtual folder here. So I have direct access. So I can basically double click anything here to get that open and ready to use. So that's basically the new in playlist column uh, on the info panel feature in the latest version of Virtual DJ.